Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jack here and welcome back to another brand new video on the channel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you all how you guys can make an open and closed UI with um, the invisible and visible options. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, we're going to first insert a screen UI. Oh yeah, in the next video, guys, I'm going to be doing a video about tweening with an open and closed UI. So if you guys want to go check that out, link will be in the description below. But yeah, anyways, we're going to insert a screen UI and we're going to rename this screen UI to open and open close GUI. Then we're going to insert a text button. This text button will go in the middle of the screen. Then read the border size code pixel zero. And this will say whatever you guys want. I'm gonna make it text get scaled and I'm gonna make it say open. Uh, you guys can make it whatever font you want or you guys can leave it. I'm gonna just make it this, I like that font. Uh, then we're going to insert a frame. Then inside this frame, we're going to uh, stretch it out a little bit. So just make this, can we? even stretch this out can we stretch this out <coughs> background stretch okay zero so we still can't stretch it out guys because roblox studio is dumb okay why is my cursor like this <coughs> let's try doing something like this uh Okay, will this fix it? Yes, it will. Okay. I finally fixed it, guys. You guys should reward me or something. I'm joking. Um, <clears throat> Alrighty. So once you guys have inserted the frame, that took me forever because Roblox Studio is stupid right now. Anyways, once you guys have inserted that frame, you guys are just going to customize it. I'm going to make it green. Then you guys are going to insert a text button, another text button, insert, um, put this into the frame, and then we're going to call this text button open, and this text button close. We're going to put that text button over here, going to make it a little square. Gosh, come on. I can't even freaking... Why Roblox Studio is stupid. There we go, finally. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to make the background transparency re uh, red, or in the background, whatever you guys want. You guys are just gonna basically edit these, the open button and the close button. I'm gonna make the text size 66. I'm gonna make it say X. All right, and uh, now, okay, so we just basically, um, we basically customized it and uh, this is the way i like it so now we're gonna get to the scripting so if you guys if i if i'm going too fast for you guys all you guys have to do is just pause the video uh and do your thing and then unpause the video so you guys have more time but yeah um okay let's move on to the scripting so uh so the script we're gonna insert a script inside of the open uh, the text button that's uh, it's renamed to open and we're gonna uh, make we're gonna do this we're gonna say uh, we're gonna type this script script dot parent dot mouse button one click one connect function then we're gonna put um script dot parent dot um Parent script dot parent dot parent dot frame um dot visible equals true. So that's all we have to type for that. And now what we have to do is insert a script inside of the close button. So we're going to insert a script, and this is where we're going to type. We're going to type script dot parent dot tag or er, not not dot text script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function 
open the bracket, close the bracket. Then you guys are going to want to put um, script dot parent dot script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false. So this is what you guys are gonna put here. And now what you guys are and now what you guys are gonna do is final. The, this is the final step. You guys are going to make the frame invisible. Now what you guys are gonna want to do is we are all done now. So we're just gonna test it and see if it works. So it's just loading right now. Okay. If we click open, it will open, guys. If we click close, it will close. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button with your nose and comment down below what type of tutorial you guys want me to do next. Or er, wait, no. You guys can't comment on my videos. I just remembered that. Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please uh, like it. Uh, please smash the like button with your nose if you did like this video. And um, subscribe to the channel. Um, I am. I just hit 3,000 subscribers. Now our goal is to hit 3,000. Or um, our goal is to get um, 4,000 subscribers. So if you guys could get, if we could get to 4,000 subscribers, I will learn more about advanced scripting. So we could, uh, so guys, uh, you guys could uh, understand more um, about this like scripting thing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button with your nose and if you did and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next one in the next time. Peace.